Picture a force so powerful, it can decimate entire towns within fleeting minutes. Such a force exists, and it goes by the name of a tornado. These spinning vortexes of cataclysm, engendering both fear and misunderstanding, carry a shroud of mystery as they etch their paths of absolute devastation. Notoriously unpredictable and stirring awe in their wake, tornadoes exemplify the raw, untamed power of nature. But are these twisters simply whimsical acts of the weather, or is there a precise science behind their formation? Tornadoes, in fact, are not arbitrary. They materialize when warm, humid air clashes with cooler air, causing instability. This unsettling collision forces the lighter warm air to rise, while the colder air sinks, setting off a rotating effect. As the rising warm air cools and condenses, it forms a cloud, creating a funnel. This, then, is the birth of a tornado. The strongest tornadoes can reach wind speeds of up to 300 miles per hour, rendering them capable of flattening sturdy structures and hurling vehicles through the air. Diametrically, the smallest tornadoes, known as gustnados, can form at the edges of thunderstorms and are far less destructive. Regardless of size, all tornadoes are monitored closely by meteorologists in an effort to understand these natural powerhouses and predict their paths, thereby minimizing the damage they may cause. So let's embark on the journey to unravel the of these formidable phenomena. But first, let's try to understand what exactly is a tornado and how does it form in its fullest scientific detail. A tornado, also known as a twister, is a rapidly rotating column of air that is in contact with both the surface of the Earth and a cumulonimbus cloud. But how does this atmospheric wonder take form? Let's delve deeper into the birth of a tornado and the intricate meteorological conditions that foster its creation. Firstly, it's important to note that tornadoes are born from thunderstorms, but not just any thunderstorm. More often than not, they originate from supercell thunderstorms which are characterized by an intense, rotating updraft. A common scenario involves a hot, humid day where the air is dense with moisture. This sets the stage for the storm. Suddenly, cooler, drier air blows in, usually from a different elevation or terrain. This brisk arrival of cooler air creates a stark clash of temperatures, a vital prerequisite for tornado genesis. This encounter can spark the formation of a thunderstorm. As this storm brews, something unique begins to happen. The cooler air, being denser, sinks while the warmer, moisture-laden air rises, creating what meteorologists refer to as wind shear. This is a critical part of the process as it creates a rotating updraft, the heart of a tornado. This updraft starts to spin, fueled by the temperature and pressure differences within the storm. It's at this juncture that a mesocyclone, the parent circulation for a tornado, may form. Now, visualize this spinning column of air. It's rotating faster and faster, and as it does, it begins to narrow. This is due to the conservation of angular momentum, a fundamental law in physics. As the column narrows, it spins more rapidly, mirroring an ice skater who twirls faster as they pull in their arms. Eventually, this spinning column of air tightens into a powerful vortex, extending down from the thunderstorm cloud base to make contact with the ground. This signifies the birth of a tornado. Now fully formed, this twister roams the landscape, a potent testament to the dynamic forces existing within our atmosphere. So now we understand not just how tornadoes born, but the complex meteorological dynamics that lead to their formation. But what transpires when they unleash their power? Tornadoes are one of nature's most violent and destructive phenomena, measured in their intensity through the Fujita scale. This system, named after its creator, Dr. T. Theodore Fujita, grades tornadoes from F0 to F5, each level indicating a stronger, more devastating storm. F0, the least destructive, can still cause damage to trees and signboards, while F5, the most destructive level entire towns reduce homes to a pile of rubble in mere seconds and wipe out entire communities off the map. The damage a tornado can inflict directly proportional to its rating on the Fujita scale. Lives can be tragically lost, 
particularly in instances of F4 or F5 tornadoes. Survivors are often left to rebuild from scratch, facing not only the economic toll that can run into billions and disrupt local economies, but also the profound psychological impact. Yet, in the of such destructive force, we learn, adapt, and prepare. Grasping the implications of the Fujita scale, we build stronger, we plan better, and we educate ourselves on safety measures. This preparedness can make the difference between life-death. While the power of tornadoes is awe-inspiring yet terrifying, understanding them and the scale used to measure their intensity is our best defense. To keep unraveling the mysteries of our world, subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. We also encourage you to explore our playlist on meteorology for more intricate details. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay safe.